Render Hoof, Sophia Breeze, A True Love by Switch Double. It is a normal day for Trender Hoof back in Candelov when he's doing his reports about the new trends, the new elite style with the NFT. He actually enjoys his work. But one afternoon, when he's seen in one of the local cafes at in Kantlov, he reads about a magazine. It's about an article. It's about one saloon in Trottingham. One of the articles mentioned is a new stylist, which has a very great talent, which has many great views, and has many rich elite class and even regular ponies as customers. All the customers have said, this main stylist, he is the best. If you want the great style or something new, unique, go to him and he will give it you. You will never regret, regret that you will have this perfect main by him. And there was a picture of Severe Breeze when he was taken care of one of the customers. Trenderhoof was a little bit curious about this new salon, and after he asked around some of the customers has been there, but they explained that this salon has been there for many years, but that Sophia Breeze has only worked there for about two years. And it's only after he started working there, this Saloon has get more good reputation and even more customer within all class that is even even within the royal elite. Trender was very curious about this, how this regular person could be this great main stylist. So he started digging around about Sophia Breeze. He found out that he was actually from Clausdale and uh, the younger brother of Bloodshine. And she told a little bit about his hood brother when he came there to ask her. He tried to ask her some more questions about why one is work, when then he was staying there, and how much work he done in the Ponyville. But she did say that he never actually worked in Ponyville or in Clausdale. He just only got his the degree only about two years ago. And actually, only about shortly after he got it, he stayed in Ponyville only for about a, few, a short time afterwards before he moved to Trottingham after he got this opportunity. He saw an ad in one of the local newspapers that a saloon in Trottingham was looking for a main stylist. And he thought this could be his opportunity. So he went there just on to see if he had the option to be one of the main stylists. It turns out he was actually hired only about only a few customers of his tribe. He was only hired for the first short time to see if his works could be grateful. And after the owner saw how much the customers enjoy his company, how much he actually loved to make his new style or even make them his own design for the customers. So, Tony Hoof thanks Fradishai for her information about her cooperation. So, he actually went to Trollingham on the next day to see to follow up all this, all this rumors, talk about Tony Hoof, where Sophia Breeze was actually even true. He came there early in the morning, and on so far, it was only the owner and two other main stylists there. Sophia Breeze wasn't even there yet. They only said that he often came there about 8 p.m., which the time was only about 7.55 a.m. So with the next five minutes, he started talking about the owner, about Sophia Breeze, and she told him exactly the same thing that we had heard from all the customers, that he is very polite, so charming, always listen to customers when you want, and even ask them if they want something, something new, and he actually started enjoying hearing about this. And he actually explained that he is writing for a newspaper or magazine in Trollingham, in Canterbury. And 
he said that he would put a good word for the saloon when he back home. And after that, Sophia Briggs actually entered, he saw Trenderhoof. And he immediately recognized who Trenderhoof is. But he was even not even nervous at all. He actually went up to Trenderhoof and they start talking. And the owner said that he could use her office for, for the list of for interview. And turning off, Sophia Brace actually went to her office, which they spent for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes of interviewing. He asked her some questions, and he asked about how he actually enjoyed his work, and how the, how the customers are acting to his work, and how, what his background was going to be, this stylist, and what his hope dreams to open his own saloon or something. And Sophia always said that he always greeting customers grateful, always happy. And even if some of the customers has a bad day, he always greeted them with a smile and always said they cheering her up. And he often listened to the customers talking about this re recent news about maybe some this royal wedding or other weddings happening in the area. Or something something about even the recent birth of Glory Heart and how much the how much he's actually enjoy his work. And the customers always listen to him about when he tells them that he was nearly about to give up his hope, his dreams to be the main stylist, but he's after his pen has a thanks to his sister and her friends that managed to convince him to focus, to reach his goal to be a main, main stylist and they always just listen to him. He tells the same story over and over. Doesn't change any of it. But there was one part he didn't he mention to Trenderhoof at first. That at first he was actually quite interesting that in Trenderhoof since about his work. He said to Trenderhoof that he has followed his part articles in the Trenderhoof magazines for quite a while and even when he is in Carlsdale and in Ponyville, he actually enjoys reading his articles. And that gave us a good thing as to Trendhoof. Trendhoof explained to Trendhoof to Sophia Breeze that he was actually looking forward to write his story in the news in the magazine. But he always wanted to put out something else in the magazine. He was looking for something new, inspiring to put something more spice in his uh, articles. Sophia Breeze was quiet for a moment and we thought maybe he could tell us something about something about his true goals that he wants to maybe open his own saloon but so far he actually loves to work with the current owner even he has the money to open his own saloon. He wanted to about he wanted to start to comfort as 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 to steal his owners, uh, the, the Zillow's owners, customers from him, for her to his own saloon. Even though he had the opportunity to start his own saloon, but he didn't want to do it because he actually enjoys that he works now. And after 20 minutes, Trenderhoof said thanks to Sophia Breeze, and but before Trenderhoof actually left, Sophia Breeze asked him if he wanted to have his own style. And trying to have thought about that, he actually needed some main style, some cutting of his hair, his mane, getting long. So he actually said yes, and trying to have got his new style as one of his own kind. And trying to have was actually very impressed on how much detail, how much work, how much he much he talked to, how much Sophia Breeze really care about his work. And when he then came back to Camelot, he actually started working his article immediately. All about his notes he wrote about from his interview with Sophia Breeze. And over the next day, in both Trot Trottingham, Camelot, and many other cities, the magazine came out, and even the owner had brought one of her copies of the magazine, and even the other other staff read the same article. They all were very surprised that how much detailed Trenderhoof was getting in the article. 
And especially then he, when Duran Duran Sephir mentioned that even he had got the opportunity to start his own saloon, he didn't want to start them but he has to to main not to own to steal the customers from the current saloon he's working from. And that made his own the owner of the saloon very happy to hear. Even if he wanted to want to compete for customers, because even his store, he didn't want to compete for any of the customers, not even like lower classes or even more better service or anything. He just wanted to make any possible any customers happy. Regardless for what class they were from, he wouldn't treat any other opponents differently. Even if they were from the late class, normal class, or even working class, he wouldn't even he wouldn't actually didn't want to make them to treat them any differently. But most of the time, he actually start enjoying his work there. But what he didn't mention else in an article that he actually spent time at the other places where he gets main stylists to the homeless, to children, and even those who has in afford to go to the saloon, he actually has, he actually has started to change. He gives haircut, main cutting to old homeless in town, even those who hasn't even got the money for to pay for it. He do it as a charity. That actually changed his his, his own personality. Even his family was quite impressed on how much he actually evolved, how much he developed over the past two years. Even his biggest sister, she was very much happy for him. And even though some mayors had even started asking him out, but he often said no, that he was not uh, ready for any serious long term relationship yet. But he did date it. A few mares a few times back when he moved there, after he started working in the saloon. But they didn't work out so well, most of them, because he didn't felt any more connection. And some time later, that Trying the Hoof actually went back to Rottingham to see Sapphire Breeze. Sapphire Breeze was actually very surprised to see him back there, and he asked why he was there. It seems that Friend who was actually not there for, for any work business. This is all for his free time. He actually wanted to spend some time with Short Saphir to get to know him better as as a pony he is. Recently it came out that Friend who was actually into stallions. He hasn't even told much of other friends, only a few ponies know that. But after he told the in the public that made Sophia Brace very curious why would he come back and suddenly admit that he was into stallions running from mayors. Sophia was very also into stallions, but he has never even explained that, only to his friends, only to his family. His sister was very supportive, his parents were supportive. But even from that, Sophia Brace and Trent, who starting actually spent some time after a while, they admitted to each other that they were both into stallions, and, and from that moment, they actually became a couple. But it was to, they kept that as a secret from also the friends and families, because they weren't, wanted to wait out to see how much the public would react. Since Trenderhoof was actually very an open eye for the public for his work in his magazine, and that Trenderhoof for his work at the saloon. He didn't want to have his reputation at the saloon being damaged or beyond that. And the trend roof was even one thing that had happened either. But after a while they had to have been together for about maybe seven months, they decided to give out in the public. Trend Hoof actually wrote that in his com in his uh, magazine in the article. And Sephir actually first told his family and some of the friends and then some of the customers at the shop, at the saloon. At first, some customers thought that they, that was some, some sort of PR trick for to get some more with good reputation, and for some that some readers for the magazine thought that could be just something that he just made up. But all the things that he that friend group had read, written, been wrote in the magazine in the past has always been the truth. 
So suddenly, suddenly, Tony's actual story is joining really more. And his family was wondering, when will the wedding be? When will they have a family? Both of them was very surprised that. But it turns out then later on, Trenderhoof was actually an orphan. He lost his parents when he was about to be 12, and that he spent his life mostly with about the relatives, back and forward. And, but he was always welcome to Sophia Bree's home and his family. They treating him as a part of family, even if he was not even married or anything. But he will always felt welcome in their home. Even he was there as a pony. Even Trenderhoof and Sophia have been telling his family that even they had just been together for only a short time, they haven't even stopped thinking about starting a family and even get married. And his parents was actually very supportive of that. They want them to be together as long as possible to see if this, their relationship can even work. Because they didn't want to be rushed into marriage or start a family when, if they even don't even love each other anymore. And only about a short time afterwards, they actually started thinking about maybe someday we should be married. But at first they were a little bit surprised when and how. At first they decided on one thing, where to live. Sophia didn't want to leave Twanningham since he actually loved that city and Trenderhoof was actually enjoying to live in Canto. So, but even at the same time, he heard from his from the from the director of the magazine that he actually got to start opening a second location of this, of this magazine in Trottingham. And that had his opportunity to he asked the director if he can be transferred from the office in Cantalot to the office in Trottingham as well as a promotion or something. And at first the owner, the director said he would not give him any promotion. But he granted him this transfer to Trottingham's office. Which actually made Trent Sevier happy. And only about two years later they were actually more still together. Trendyhoof one day actually proposed to Sophia, and then he actually said yes. Trendyhoof and, Cant and Sophia actually held a wedding in Canton. All the friends and family was invited, and they had this amazing day. Then they even actually held a small party afterwards, but that party lasted for almost an entire night. By the morning, next morning, they actually went to their to, to Crystal Empire for, for two whole weeks for their honeymoon. And both of them was actually very much enjoying this company and their even their honeymoon because it was like a dream that came true from both. They had never experienced this much true feelings for each other until now and they both was happy to start a new chapter in their life together. Five years later, Sophia and Trent, Trent Hoof has actually started talking about starting a family. But at first they weren't to figure out how. And since they wanted to make their own, to have a family of their own. And since Trent Hoof had learned a new spell from Twilight to make, how to make children. Since after he read that he helped, that she had helped other couples of the same problem. So they actually made a child of their own magic, but this time was actually with they had another a mare as a surrogate to their and they had a daughter which they named Water Lily Comb Comb and she was the most adorable Billy they ever seen. And she actually for a pig aside like the father Sephir. And even though they even used their magic combined 
went and then later used surrogate mother to give birth to her. Woody Lily Comp was actually very much enjoying by singing and also to be her main stylist like a parent, like a father, but mostly singing. And she actually became a singer when she was growing up. And that's how Sephir Breeze and Trenderhoof on the True Love got a family. The end.